Welcome to the 50th episode of Tiger Belly, everybody. Yeah. Give a round of applause for that. We have my beautiful girlfriend, Koloko. Uh, wow. We have um, my half gay Filipino <laughs> good friend, um, half gay. Gilbert from Chicago. We got George and his um, cousin, Bryce. <laughs> and uh, we have a special guest. And the special guest is uh, none other than. Um, Stevie Weeby. Finally. Wow. Yeah. Finally Stevie yeah. Weeby here. Thanks yeah, for yeah. having me. Yeah, yeah, Steve, <laughs> put your mic down to your mouth. It was oh, like a yeah, tweet. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Why, is it, why is it erect? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, help. Hey. You guys speak big oh, the mic. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, a performer now, yeah. baby. He's a performer. Yeah, hey. so we did a um, festival last night. Mm -hmm. Viva Pomona. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how'd the show go? Really good. I, it was one of my favorite shows. The headliners was Chicano Batman. You like them? Yeah, they're cool. They're it's like more funk, old school. Yeah, a, with a, a loyal. Yeah, and they have a loyal fan base. But uh, our show went wrong. Our keyboard uh, didn't work. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the end, Mark uh, broke it. But you guys had <laughs> <laughs> on stage, yeah. But it turned out to be one of the best shows. The highlight of the yeah. show. Yeah. Oh, right? and then Dave got on the guitar. Oh, well, awesome. explain to people what who's in the band and. Whatnot. Okay, so the band is called Mang Chi, which means hammer in Korean. M A N G C H I. Mm -hmm. Correct. And, uh, <laughs> okay. And it's uh, Dave, Money Mark. Dave, who? People, uh, uh, people don't. It's uh, Dave Cho, Money Mark, um, Eddie Kim, Dylan, Mallory, Heather Leather. Yeah. And one, Once in a Blue Moon, uh, James Jean. Mm -hmm. Once in a while. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're the lead singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys tour and everything. We did one tour on the East Coast, um, which was very, very fun. It was one of the best times of my life. So, yeah. yeah. What a magical tour bus. I oh, saw. yeah. We had a real, like, a, the full on, like, Motley Crue bus. David Cho changed your life. Oh, yeah. In a, in a positive way, for yeah. sure. For sure. And yeah. he had a write up on the OC Weekly. Yeah, we had a write up in the OC Weekly, um, and they labeled our band um, Experimental Punk. Which mm. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, you guys cover. <laughs> oh. You finally figured out what your music is. I don't even know what it is. I mean, because I all genres, but yeah, because I come from like I like old school hip hop stuff, but then yeah. I also like Modest Mouse and stuff like that too. Do and you the like the Red House Painters, Steve? <laughs> um, <laughs> it it kind of bothers me. <laughs> Wait, isn't that your favorite? His favorite band, band of all time. Oh, I don't know why. I mean, I know it's good music, but when you play it, it like drives, it drives me crazy. Why? Crazy. Why? Because you know it like gets under my skin. Why? Why does it get under your skin? It's just so Sad. down. Emo. Yeah, and depressing. Yeah. But yeah. That's, how, that's who I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm a like, down and depressing person. What's another band kind of like that? I mean, there's no other band like there's that. There's no really other band that's like slow core in that way. Yeah, it's. I, really I mean, I know it. it's good music. I just, it's not my cup of tea. Well, you get violent. <laughs> like if I play it in the car, mm. he starts going get like. I, I, me. Yeah, I'm like, oh, turn it up. He, he punches gets, him in the spine. Yeah, in yeah. My spine. Like while he's driving on the way. Wait, while he's freeway. driving. <laughs> yeah. I have I'm to sorry, watch him yeah. fight. On yeah. the 110 freeway be when he plays the Red House. Well, the thing is, he knows it's like a button, a button. to push. Mm. Yeah. Well, speaking of fighting, um. Okay. But two weeks ago when we were playing Destiny. Because mm -hmm. we love Steve, Destiny. Steve, myself, Eric Griffin, Frank, some other friends were on. It's like 3, 4 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And my brother snapped. Okay, so what can I, I... Well, I want to defend myself. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, so there's a thing on in Destiny, and it's the raid. And it's like one of the main hardest things to do. You need six people to do it. Yeah. And do we make it to... It was the second or third level of that. It was the third level. We were at the level where there's you have to run to the totem. Yeah. And then when you get the death singers thing. <sighs> yeah. You have to. It, it's like it's a synchronized event. What's the end goal? The end. I don't even know what it is. You're just running back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just kill shit and no, 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 no. Yeah, there's people. Kalila, there's it is hive a to kill. Scientific. Okay. Synchronized mm -hmm. thing, and if every, yeah, somebody you does have to do it, like, one perfect. wrong thing, you have to start from the beginning. But you guys aren't even six people. Yeah, we no. Were six okay. So our fire team, the OG fire team, is me, him, Eric Griffin, Craig Efros, my neighbor, Frank. And then we needed one other guy, mm -hmm. so we which got was guy. Chris from Seattle. Chris mm -hmm. Owens from Seattle, yeah, yeah. which is Craig's friend. Mm -hmm. 
So this is why, <laughs> why is Snap. That so funny? No one knows who the fuck Craig is. I know. I just want to give a shout. I don't see know. the last name, Chris Owen. Like we're, everyone's, oh, Chris Owen. Give Craig. it his Twitter handle. All Give right. it his Twitter handle. Um. So anyway, <laughs> I, I messed up because um when I when you're at the bottom, you have to be in the middle of the totem. Mm-hmm. And I was offset of that, so I was dying. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I didn't know why I was dying. And what happened? I can't really. What remember. happened was this. We when you die, we have to start over. Oh yeah, so right? you can't mess up. You can't mess right. up. Yeah, so my yeah. brother knows that he's fucking up. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know. So I was basically <laughs> frustrated at myself. And Eric said, "What kind of gun are you using?" And that right there. And that that triggered. That's it. Oh my! It Red was zone. like Bruce Banner. Bruce, Bruce Banner, Banner to Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Why is that the trigger? <laughs> he was already frustrated um, with himself. He was embarrassed. Because well, the thing is, I what'd was, you say to Eric? Well, I got defensive. I go, what kind of gun are you using? <laughs> right. But not in that way. I go, you are mistaken. No, no. This is how, <laughs> this is how you said it. <laughs> what kind of gun are you using? Huh? No, what I, kind of gun are you using? It wasn't that violent. <laughs> yes, it was. No, no. It was like, Gail, it was like, what kind of gun are you using? Okay. Yeah. Oh, like that. So it was a little, little more. In between than the two. In between. Yeah. In between and the I, two. Because I, I like. <laughs> I, I like all kinds. There's different kinds of weapons in Destiny. There's scout rifles, automatic rifles, pulse rifles, and I've learned to love all of them. Yeah. And they all have it. You know, their own different feel. Sure. I had a exotic. Exotic is the best weapons you could get in the game. They're yellow. And which exotic were you using? The Mida or the Mida multi tool. Very good gun. It, it's a very, very good, good gun. Rifle. It's a very popular gun. So shout out to that gun. Um, <laughs> Follow them on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so then, and then after you I said, said I'm using the Mita multi tool, yeah. and I looked at his character. <laughs> yeah. What are you using? Yeah. And then he had a normal Vanguard scout rifle. Yeah. So I try to up like up one on him. Like, yeah. Yeah, my gun's better than you. Yeah, yours. yours got. And then what'd you say to poor Frank? <laughs> and then poor Frank. Okay. See, by the way, oh Frank. Oh my God! Okay, so Frank, I messed up, man. So Frank is another kid oh that's in our fire team, Why did I and he's that? a doorman at the comedy store. He's, he's a nice he's kid. He's developing as a stand-up. He's a nice kid. He's a nice Mexican <laughs> he's kid. He's such a nice guy. I know. So what did you tell him? I don't know why. Out of nowhere, I go, "What do you got to say to that, Frank? Yeah, you yeah. want some too? No, <laughs> he <laughs> said. Okay. No, he said no. He said to this. This is what my brother said. He oh, goes, "Oh man, you, I could put you in a double leg takedown right now." I started talking about Poway wrestling. Yeah, yeah, I'm go like, to, yeah, go to like, Poway wrestling. I go, I'm like, check to, out my stats. Yeah, dude. I go check out the stats on PowayWrestling.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know how to do double legs. Yeah, so, so trying to refer to your high school. Yeah, wrestling I was stats. like, yeah, was I was like, going back like <laughs> 1993. Like, yeah. go to Poway wrestling. So he was. I know how to Frank's with with. Physically threatening with him. Poway yeah. wrestling with his stats. skills. Oh my god, you know I mean? it was yeah. insane. Like, you don't know what the idea what I can do to you. Yeah, you I got a him, double leg. You wanted him to dig into the archives. Right. I don't know. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Like, where that was unnecessary. And I, then, and I, well, so now Eric Griffin now knows that it's turning into a red zone situation. Mm. And if it, you don't know, if my brother gets in the red zone, yeah, somebody it, could die. Mm-hmm. No, it's not that yes, bad. Yes, it is that bad. You've, it's not that have bad. You att- let me ask you a question, though. Oh. Have you attacked me with knives? Oh, yeah, in Silver Lake. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many knives you attacked me with? You had two knives in your head, I, I didn't you? I think I had two behind my back, yeah, and yeah, I yeah, got yeah. into a wrestling stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is wrestling. I know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know why. It's been so long. Yeah, he got into it, right? Oh, it's deeper than that, though, because I did choke at the state tournament, and I was ranked two. In the, in the oh. country. No, no, in, no, in, in, in the state. state. In the state. And, um, Damn. I always choked at the state tournament. <laughs> so yeah. there's like, there, it goes there's really deep. Yeah, it goes really, really, it goes deep. It yeah. goes, like the pain is deep. So how it ended but, was, um, Eric knew that Steve was going into a red zone. And then, and then I don't he just, know. Eric just goes, bye. He goes, bye. And he just right. clicks and off. And he just disappears. Yeah. Eric Griffin and I, I was like, "You pussy, you fucking yeah, pussy!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Eric's gone now; he can't hear it. I'm Just, like, "You fucking pussy! pussy. You're a <laughs> pussy!" Yeah, yeah. My brother goes off, and then and then my brother. I, I realized at that moment, oh no, I'm the asshole. <laughs> In that moment, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because he left, and it was <laughs> silent. And then I go, yeah. Well, fuck this, man! And I turned off my machine. Yeah. So my brother and what disappears. Happened, and what happened after? Everyone we starts laughing. Just, everyone, me, Frank, and the two other guys just start fucking laughing. Yeah. Right? Because it's yeah. four in the morning, and also Eric and Steve 
are in their 40s. <laughs> yeah, we're old. <laughs> I, I don't know why kids. we're even playing this game. These are 40-year-olds. We're like, addicted to this midlife, goddamn midlife. game. Midlife, like people have midlife crises. Yeah. 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 Four kids have a mortgage. <laughs> These guys are fucking children. Yeah. I mean, so we laugh, it's, you know what I mean? on nerd, it's on some nerdville shit, man. Like we're deep, and we're not even deep. good at it. We're, we're not, not even good. good at it. <laughs> we're not even, even good. We're not even good at it. So what? What did you say last night? Oh, you said something so good last night. What did I say? I got you, Steve. Got Wait. What? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Wait. What happened? <laughs> so we. So okay. This. This. We're okay, playing so, this game so, called yeah. Trials of Osiris. So with Destiny, oh, God, Trials, Trials of Osiris. So it's three yeah. on three. It's basically what it's it is. It's me, Eric, and Bob against three strangers. Yeah, but the three strangers tr are the best got players in. Yeah, the Yeah, this is the elite of the game. And the reason yeah. why you the do best. it is because. If you can finish this like little bounty, it's called the gold tier bounty, and you get it at the reef from Brother Vance. From Brother Vance gives it mm -hmm. to you, and, and it's basically um, what the bounty is. You get fifty kills in trial. Yeah, Cyrus. so no, not only fifty kills, you need to complete like Se seven, seven matches. matches, right? <laughs> and so you go, in but but for fifty kill, <laughs> but fifty kills for us, it'll take us like eight hours. Well, all night, and then the sun will come up. <sighs> yeah, fifty yeah. kills for us is. Uh -huh. A gigantic. It's a huge like, task. I'm gonna tell you right now. Teams get 50 kills in just two rounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Us, it takes, it takes five, six, seven hours. It takes a whole night. A whole night. A but whole if night. If you accomplish, we have to it, keep going back to the reef and getting passage cool. <laughs> to come back. Yeah, yeah. Because we keep dying. Right? And a part of the game is you have to kill, but then you also can revive your teammates. Yeah. So I'm in this room and I got. We're getting slaughtered. We're getting like these three guys. <laughs> yeah. They killed me in. It's my, basically like, <laughs> it's basically this. You literally start. And then you're dead. Oh, because everyone is experts at sniping. sniping. Mm. They all have so you, sniper you, rifles. You're in the world, and all of a sudden you're dead. You're like, boom, You guys you're dead. don't have sniper rifles? We don't know how to use them. Frank knows. <laughs> Frank's good. We don't know how to use yeah. them. But anyway, I got killed. And, and so Bob, instead of <laughs> no, 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 shooting the no, other no, 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 no. guy. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say it. No, no. All right, all right. right. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, okay. Not only did he get killed, we're in a room, and Frank's we're, dead. Steve's dead. I'm alive. And there's three guys Dudes, in the room, like with, with shotguns. Guns. With shotguns now. So I, <laughs> with shotguns. I with shotguns. I revive Steve and I go, I got you, Steve. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> brother said my brother didn't shoot any of the other guys. <laughs> he was just trying to go to my orb, my dead orb, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and revive me. Yeah. And he goes, I got you, Steve. Like he was supposed to do something, and, um, and I'm like, I'm like, what hour. are you doing? It's yeah, we it, you had to be there. To yeah, you had to be there. <laughs> but <laughs> it was a, it was a good moment. It was, it was moment. a great moment because it made me realize. <laughs> Like, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we don't know what we're doing. You're supposed to shoot the dude. Yeah, yeah. He was just trying to revive my body. That's a brotherly moment. It's but yeah. when you get a gold tier, though, the reason oh why you my do it, God. you get the nice stuff. Yeah, you could either get a good gun, uh, a chest piece. All he cares about is the new shoulder pieces and the chest pieces. You only care to look good. You don't care to have good guns, right? Yeah. Mm, he visual. just wants the, the colors and the... Do you know why? Visual. Yeah, there's um, and Osiris is different because everything has an eyeball on. Yeah, it. is it still random? Like what you get is still random. Yeah, Steve got fucked last I time. I got fucked. Yeah, I did three gold tears. And what'd you get? I got like the worst thing, like the artifact, like a necklace or something. <laughs> like I got the artifact. Yeah, yeah. So um, anyway, I don't know why we're so. You got me into it. I know. Too. I don't know why. Why it's so addic addicting? Like I don't know why we keep playing. Yeah, but we do do. Every and time no, I'm on, you're on. I know, but has does he change? Because we've talked about this. Yeah. Does Bob's demeanor change? Yeah, it brings out the worst parts of him. So he, he becomes really combative and irritable and impatient. And um, for instance, if he's playing, um, you can't. He can't be spoken to. He has. If you speak to him, he takes that as an offense. Yeah. And he s yells back. He's just. It's so different. <laughs> he turns into a completely type of different monster when he plays these. Um, what do you call these type of games? Um, the shooter, first person yeah, shooters. Yeah, first person shooter games. Now, mm. well, what's the difference between Fallout and Destiny? Like he's you, peaceful. Like he wants to. He wants to cuddle, have sex. Oh, he wow. wants when to he's do playing that. Fallout. Yeah, like he becomes because you're building houses. And, yeah, he's building you're just houses. building houses. <laughs> <laughs> Room yeah. after room. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, decor. Yeah, he doesn't Decoration. even wanna. He doesn't even wanna have sex at all when he plays Destiny. Destiny, <clears throat> like at all. Now, is it partly my fault that yeah. you're back in? Yeah. in no, what? it's not your fault, Steve. He's a fucking grown man. It's not, no. But, but, in what no. but it doesn't help when you call me at 2 in the morning. Clyde? 
do you think Bob can play? <laughs> We're doing Trials of Osiris, and I really want this new gun, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, Every great impression. Time. Oh, my God. Even during the UFC it's fight. Real. You see, as the whole fights were going on, he taps me on the back. He goes, "Yeah, there's a bunch of people in my house. Yeah. We're watching yeah. U- the pay per view UFC, yeah. and he taps feels this you- little tap on the back. And I'm like, yeah, Kali. <laughs> hey, so tonight we're doing a firefight. <laughs> a fire team. A fire, fire team. Our fire team needs yeah. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. Bob play? Yeah, and then you could see because she knows now that I'm the one that told you to tell her." Yeah. No, but she has a good. She always has a good response. She's like, "Dude, he's a grown ass man. He can do whatever he wants." But that's see, that's not. What do you mean? When you say something like that, what? There's a lot behind that. You think that's a loaded response for me? No, it's no. I'm just interpreting that there are a loaded response. You probably just mean that at the way it is. Yeah. Well. Oh, I'm sorry. You know. Right here. Uh, I think you're very well aware of the consequences yes. of your action. I don't have to reiterate those to you every time. So it's like, yeah, that's why I you that. know that <laughs> it, certain <laughs> things make I, me I, unhappy. I, 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 yeah, so. <laughs> I just want to say it. Yeah. I'm fine. Hopefully. Now, if you played and he was actually kind of a pleasant person to be around when he played Destiny, different I'm story. trying to be better, though. But, you know, we have a puppy. So yeah. it's like, even if the puppy's in front of him, he'll have the puppy shit and piss and do everything. He'll neglect. Completely neglect oh. the world. Like he'll, he'll not feed the cats. He'll not feed himself. The dog. I've been eating all day today. Yeah. What? Mm, not one thing. This is the, these sunflower seeds is the first thing I'm eating. But it's today. Not you know, fault, I Steve. think there's another thing that kind of adds to that, which mm-hmm. is kind of getting under my skin, mm-hmm. is uh, cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. What do you Who's mean? cheating? What do you mean? Well, I'm learning. <laughs> mm-hmm. On Destiny, yeah. Oh, there are people that cheat. There's, I'm, I'm learning. Have you heard of lag switching, man? <laughs> what is that? No. Okay, so basically, uh, lag switching is when they fuck with their internet connection, like where they go from green bar to red, to red bar. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll be trying to kill someone yeah. doing um, Crucible. They'll beat you. To and it. the guy, the opponent, will vanish, or it'll be oh. like a delayed movement where. You're shooting at like a shadow, but yeah. then he, his shit is normal. He could kill you. So it's a delayed thing. So lag switching, and there's a thing that they also do DDoSing, which is they, I uh, think I know that. they kick you from your connection. Yeah. But then, so there's cheaters. How does that even make it fun for you guys if you know you can never win if people, if cheaters it, are winning? We can, a crucible, we, re- we can win. But a regular crucible game, we can win. And I don't mind lag switchers because sometimes we've won with them in, in But involved. DDoSing, they'll kick you. From they did that once to him and he was furious. Uh, like booted off? They oh, is that when it. I needed to give you the credit card over and over again? No, no, that wasn't the... Um, oh. <laughs> that <laughs> was No, 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 that wasn't... That wasn't <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's another thing yeah, I want to yeah, talk yeah, to yeah, you yeah, about. Yeah, 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 That's another yeah. thing I want to talk to you about, okay? Yeah. Is the your tone when it comes to that fucking cable bill. <laughs> We've always squashed this. No, no, I'm not. I don't give a fuck. Look at me right now. Yeah. I'm going to say this, and I hope it doesn't embarrass any of you. Yeah. I'm paying for your cable bill. I know. He's paying for my cable bill. All right. But you got me into Destiny. You're like, dude, I didn't have it. I was on AT&T. I was doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. And then once. (laughs) Rebuttal. No, no, no. no. I'm just saying. I'm letting you know. I was paying my own shit. AT&T. I only had the low. And then you were like, you need to get a better connection. I need you in Destiny. Me okay, and Bobby. Okay. All right, Bobby, you brought him in. No, in the so, meantime, who sets up And so, like, now I'm stuck with the cable yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry. I mean, so, I get right, the stuff. I am like, Yeah, right. so, I mean, I didn't want it. I had my own little shitty internet I thing. know, but now, And then you though, up my shit. So, I mean, yeah. that's so I had to kind of speak that. But you you're right. That out there. But the thing is, I have a whole weird <laughs> yeah. thing with bills anyway. I freak out if I get something and... They add interest, or I, I'm weird with no, taxes. I'm, I'm happy when you text yeah, me yeah. that. I mean, if you don't want me to like take a picture of the thing and send it to you guys, I won't do that anymore. No, send it to me. <laughs> don't send it yeah. to him because he's not paying it. Okay, I have yeah, to be yeah, the one yeah. to pay it. So it's I fun. apologize. Right, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I'll go down. Now I'll, that I heard you out, I'll downgrade to a lesser no, thing. No, Steve, it's fine. Just no, don't send him I, the text. Send it I, to I, me because oh, I'm the one who pays it. Okay, anyway. yeah. I heard you out. I apologize. Yeah, I but I, I, I was fine with my shitty connection. I know, but yeah. oh, so you want to go back to your shitty connection? No, because I love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love the Destiny. Thing. It like, oh, I don't need the fucking thing. You know? No, I like Destiny. All right, I like Destiny. I want to talk about your new tattoo. 
Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So I got a wolf. Um, Explain any, to us the the whole background. It, to it's this more tattoo. than the um. It's more than the Game of Thrones thing because okay, I did okay. write a song called Lone Wolf. Okay. Uh, on Kwangu uh, Dirt Flame Pencil EP, yeah. one of my rap albums. So you're one of your first ones, right? Yeah. It's yeah. about a wolf that shape shifts into a human at the end of the song, mm-hmm. and he finds um, another a naked woman who happened to shapeshift back into a human and they fall in love. Oh, so that's it's called, very... So it's called Lone Wolf um, on Kwangu, uh, Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. It's on it's iTunes. It's kind of like that movie Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk. What's Lady Hawk? You remember with Matt, uh, what's his, that's from Matthew the 80s? Broderick? Is that from the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, I don't, so I don't finish your story anyways. about the tattoo. Yeah, you know, and I, I like it. I like the tattoo. It's I a know. dire wolf. Yeah, it's, it's a, a dire, dire wolf. wolf yeah. House dark. Well, and another thing is, this is such a um, cuddly, um, Ewok? yeah, Ewok. it's just a like a teddy bear, basically, mm-hmm. and I wanted to balance it out with the tougher-looking um, animal on the other side of my Right, but can body. I ask you a question? Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Steve. It's coming, man. It's coming. No, no, no. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Ten years ago. I know. I got Steve on my fucking I'll arm. get it. You no, want me shut, no, shut up. <laughs> All right. Let me explain it to me. <laughs> I got Steve on my fucking arm, right? Because he's my brother. I love him. Mm-hmm. And you know what my brother goes? I'm going to get you on my arm, too. I know. Ten years ago. They're going to get on So let me ask you, that. well, what's that? You got that? And then I got and that. And got that. Yeah. Not, not anything. But, but I want the thing in my defense. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get uh, 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 his Korean name. Mm-hmm. Ah. And yeah, Kwang, uh, Song, 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 Song Woo. Right, so why? So why? I don't know. It's weird. You're right. Because yeah, yeah. I didn't want to just have Bob on your yeah. arms. Kind of weird. But yeah, Steve. So, yeah. or maybe I could go Bob. Mm-hmm. Why B you know Y L? I don't want it. No, it's coming. No, I don't. You know what? No, I want it. it. It's weird now. If you get it done, I, it's gonna <laughs> no, be weird. No, no, because people are gonna call me out. People have called me out. Just random DVD ASA old people. Dude, what's up, man? You gotta get the ink, man. What your bro- you're ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they're like they they're, they're getting the, since you put it out there oh, yeah, people yeah. call me out like uh, random like oh, yeah. what what you don't have the tattoo all right uh, yeah Does so that bother you no because it's gonna be, happen more after this year <laughs> <laughs> so we have yeah, to get man. it now you I have heard, to get it now. I heard the tiger belly man <laughs> fucked up man <laughs> you fucked up I like, fucked up <laughs> you fucked up Steve you're fucking up yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh, all right. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, I mean, you do what, it's your body. Do no, I it. I'm gonna get it. All right, I'm gonna get it. But see, for what's funny because the dire wolf that's pretty much from Game of Thrones, though. Yeah, it's the Game of Thrones, and you got me into that. I, years, I, I tried mean, to get you in. I was fighting this shit. I'm like, I ain't watching it. You know, I ain't and then watch- what happened? I don't know. Something clicked. He, he, we went to the Korean sauna, and he's like, dude, you have to watch it. I'm gonna watch this episode with you. Yeah. Was I on season three or four? I was like three, uh, two actually. Two? I think so. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, but then something clicked where I think you fell in love with Arya. I, I, the world I fell in love with the mm-hmm. whole world. Yeah. Like, cause um, I love. Uh, there's a game we used to play called Skyrim. Yeah. And it takes place. It's similar. There's dragons, mm-hmm. swords, and shit like that. Does Bethesda make um? They make Skyrim? Gr- yeah. They make beautiful games. Yeah. But anyway, it's the world, and I, I, the characters, I kind of clinged on to. Yeah. So if the, the next you get, you can't wait for the next season. Oh, I can't wait. There's only yeah. thirteen. You're getting closer. Oh, oh sorry, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? No, it's okay. Sorry. Everything good? Yeah. I love Jon Snow. He's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> Who's uh, your favorite favorite character? Top five. Uh, okay. Go my, top five. Um, Arya mm-hmm. is number one. Number one. Jon Snow. Mm-hmm. Two. Who's the little girl House of Mormont? Oh, Leanna. Oh, Le- Leanna Mormont, yeah. Forget about it. Forget about she's, it. She's a sniper. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, her tongue is so sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's been in uh, Sansa's scenes. grown on me in a major way. Yeah. Sansa. Have you jerked off to Sansa? No, but I've looked her up. I Googled her. But did you jerk off? I look up like British interviews Jerk off to her? No. Her interviews? Like just like random, like her, her I don't know her yeah. real name, but right. like, I, like just on YouTube. Yeah. So Jon Snow. Who would you have a baby <laughs> with of all those women? I mean, except Jon Snow. Jon Snow, if you want to. For political reasons or just to have sex No, with? just because, you know, that's somebody that you really would fall in love with. A grown Leanna Mormont. Okay, it was. I Because I don't want to get in trouble here because I don't know how. She's old. already 18, Arya. Is. Okay, it was Arya. Yeah. But then after the last two 
episodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sansa. Oh, mm. so you don't know what Because your heart that is. last scene where um Ramsey uh Ramsey dies, mm -hmm. you know, the dogs eat his face. Yeah. And that look she, she gave she smirked a little and walked yeah. away and I go, Wow, she really grew into her own. Mm -hmm. She's a strong woman. So yeah, dude, she's ki she kicks ass. Now the Oh, I like Bran too, the uh uh, I like Brian. The Warg. The Warg. Yeah. yeah. And if I could be anything in that world, I would want to do that. Third eyed lady. Even without legs. Warg. So you would give up your legs to be a warg. Yeah. If I could go into a eagle or an animal and shit yeah. or a wolf, fuck yeah. Yeah. I love it. But you wouldn't have a life in reality in the present world. I'll just always be in that world. <laughs> <laughs> so you know the actor that plays uh, Jon Snow, Kit Harrington? Is that his name? Yeah. I don't Kit know Harrington. any of their real names. Yeah. His name is Kit Harrington. Yeah. Okay. If you were at a nightclub. And Kit Harrington walked by you. <laughs> I already know where you're like, going with it. Me too. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, "Hey, <laughs> man, um, you suck my dick real quick, <laughs> like in, in in the bathroom." No, but I would probably stare at his face a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, he would what say it. You I mean, let's, also, let's not get twist, get it twisted. He's a handsome man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, mean, would you have this? Would you have him? Hey, come to my hotel room. <laughs> Just listen. This come to my hotel room. Is sick. Just look, no, no, look, look at my, look at my eyes, and you don't have to touch me, but I'll just jerk off in front of you. Would you do it? I probably would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's John. To get Snow. a selfie, it's Kit Harrington. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would want to do get that. Uh, get an Instagram post of him. For sure. Like, for sure. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I'm yeah. at the standard with John Snow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling with John Snow. I love how yeah, the standard. I'm chilling. The standard. Me and John Snow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, it's one of the. Be You're right. It's better than any movie. It's it's like that battle scene, second to last episode. That was the one of the best. Like, kill Braveheart, yeah. killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It mm -hmm. was so epic, man. Mm -hmm. With the giant and shit. The giants. Oh my babe. god. It was a good one. It's a damn good show, man. Damn good. Yeah. And you're right. I think you like kind of. It was a. I mean, I didn't expect it to be that good. I mean, there's slow, slow episodes where I'm like, oh, that was okay. But it all built into something and very big at the end. it was definitely worth it, yeah. All those, even all those slow moments had a purpose. Yeah. They weren't just throwaway scenes. Everything was to be absorbed in one way or the other. Um, I do want to talk about um, something that happened over the weekend. Bobby came home from set after having a 12-hour work night. And he immediately came through the door, talked to my sister, and started throwing his underwear through his jeans okay. in the wash. All right. Um, so explain to us what happened. Wait, wait, say that again. He, okay, uh, underwear. He pooed in a plastic bag. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh man, oh <laughs> it, it's real. But mostly, it's but real. mostly on it's itself. Real. Shit's getting real now. <laughs> Shit's getting real. <laughs> Shit's getting. I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't want to talk about this, but. Okay, okay, okay. so I was shooting this movie. <laughs> Okay. Well, before I went, okay, I had a seven o'clock p.m. call time mm -hmm. Saturday night, so I drove to Sherman Oaks or no Woodland Hills. That's where it is. Okay. And I'm driving to the that see a GameStop. I go, I'm gonna get a new controller right now and head seat piece. So I went in there, bought. They gave me a gigantic bag. <clears throat> I put it in the car. Then the you know I parked where the parking lot is. They drive me to the set. I fucking worked 12 fucking hours. It was brutal. Was mm. it a movie? Yeah, it was a movie. Oh. And at like five in the morning, we did second lunch, which is like, they have to do it sack union wise. Mm -hmm. And then they go, we got this, this meat. <laughs> I go, where is it from? Meat. We don't know, some place. Ooh. I'm like five in the morning? Where, where do you get meat? Like it was like chicken skewers. Uh -huh. Chicken or beef? Chicken and beef, but I ate the chicken. But 5 a.m. Yeah, chicken in the morning. And then, Maybe it was halal, guys. It wasn't halal. No. Okay. It was not that good. It wasn't good. It was undercooked, okay. man. It was undercooked. Well, I don't know what happened, but diarrhea. And then, at like six in the morning, I, I'm at my last shot, like six thirty, and I just start farting a lot. Oh. You know no. what I mean? And then even the, the, in the scenes. Yeah, in the scenes, and the cameraman goes, <laughs> even one time goes, "What's that smell?" And I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything because in my head I'm like, shit. if I can, if I can just pure if shit, I can just get in my car, drive home. I just have a two hour session Stop. in my pocket, right? Pure poo. So oh then I wrap. I don't fill up my paperwork, which I still have to do sometimes. Exact paperwork. Yeah, yeah, and I get, I have the van drive me to my car. <laughs> I'm in the car. It's now Sunday morning. I'm on the 101, speeding, 
And then all of a sudden, in my head, I go, I'm not going to make it. Mm. I'm not going to make it to a restaurant. Yeah. I'm not going to make it home. <laughs> not at home, even anywhere. Oh, the shit was building up. No, it was, it was out. Out, out. It was probably out. It was wet. Yeah, like my underwear was already brown a little bit. Mm. It was peaking. It was right. peaking, yeah. So I pull over and I go to a gas station. <laughs> I park into this gas station. It's closed, the gas station, <laughs> right? I go to the back seat. I pull my pants down and I throw the two boxes, you know what I mean, that's the in the fucking GameStop shit bag. in your car? Yeah, and I shit in the GameStop bag. <laughs> you shit in a bag? Yeah, yeah, in a GameStop <laughs> bag. You shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm oh. not even kidding you, it was filled. With juice? To the brim. Was it solid? Juice? <laughs> I mean, was what? it solid or juicy? It was <laughs> all juice. It was pure diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juice. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. threw the bag. I'm still, the gas station that sees the GameStop bag, I'm sorry if you yeah. hear this. Jesus. But I threw it, right? Kalai. Pull my pants back up. And oh, now man. my underwear is cold shit. Cold poo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cold that's poo. the worst. So I sit yeah. on my seat and it's, and it's cold poo. It's just Sorry. pure, just shit yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's pure. It's all poop. Okay. <laughs> pure. Yeah, it's pure. So he had to it's wash blood. his So then I go and come home, right? And I, um, I take my underwear off. No, no. This is what happened. After that, I go to the, a Walgreens. So I'm walking in... <laughs> In Walgreens, the, with this the waddle, poop. the waddle, the waddle, yeah, yeah, yeah. right through the thing. I get wet naps, right, and I get um, and I buy two or three extra bags. Jesus. And so then I take the underwear off, I put it in this, these two extra bags, I threw it in the trash can, I wipe my asshole out as best I could, I stick the pants back in, but there's still poo in my jeans. Oh, I come home, and then Quinda comes out, and she sees me putting the fucking jeans in the fucking. Oh, washer. It was just a bad, bad morning. That was considerate of you to poo in a bag, though. Yeah. Have you Except ever outside. done that? That was a first. No, you I never. shit on a house with her. She, he shit, he shit on, on someone's house. plants. Yeah, yeah. On some, like, gardenias. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it, like, it wasn't even intentionally into the gardenias. It just sprayed back. Yeah, yeah. As he was bending over, it just sprayed backwards <laughs> with just that propulsion. You know, it, it runs in the family, though. Wait, like, what? what the, the di- well, because remember thong? dad? Yeah, well, my dad used to, um, remember he had a store in Riverside? He had yeah. a van. Yeah. He would take shits in, like, paper on paper plates. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't remember that? Oh, yeah. On a paper plate? Why a, a paper plate? plate? He didn't even want to go to, he, was, he had to get there. So he would just pull to the side and go in the back. Yeah, but that's not a, you think that that's a behavioral, like, a Lee, it might be, a Lee thing? I don't know. Have dude. you done something like this? It's in our jeans, or to do that? To maybe poo. I don't in know. public, maybe in you public guys find just... a thrill out of it. No, I had to go. <laughs> like my my dad, I went to a store in Phoenix. We he had a clothing store. Yeah. And underneath the cash register, you don't really know what I saw. No, I don't even know this story. I Wait. saw a gigantic jug of. Uh, I thought it was water. <laughs> oh, piss! It's yeah. all pee. He pissed in. No, what he because he couldn't afford any employees, so he would. So he couldn't. He had to go to the bathroom and take break. He would pee right there in the jug. Oh my god, that's hardcore. That's commitment. That's good work ethic. You used to do that too. Yes. No, he had a truck. No, he had a. This is back when he had the white truck, the Toyota. (laughs) Get close to the mic, Steve. Okay, so Bob had a white truck in San Diego, a Toyota. Yeah. And he would have frappuccino bottles. <laughs> Come on, dude! <laughs> this is real shit, and it was filled with frappuccino <laughs> bottles it, with urine in the frappuccino bottles, just stacked. There's not even caps on those. That's dangerous. No, no, no. no he put the, the cap back on. Oh. Yeah, the capped ones. Right? So you just collect. You're a urine collector. You just right? like collecting. Dude, so what I, would you use oh, it I for? Oh, I fucked up. I just. I don't remember that. <laughs> so, so it doesn't exist. Yeah, I don't remember it. it doesn't exist. You know, oh, man. I don't remember it. Are you lying, Steve? <laughs> no. I, I remember seeing you. He's it. a pee collector. He is. He really is. I did so. it on the balcony here. You did? I, I used to pee in the, mm-hmm. the gigantic green j- thing. For okay. years. For years. I, I've done it, too. What well, is wrong me, with tell you me about guys? Your, what, what but you mine's think? Gatorade bottles. But why? Same. Same. Where? Yeah, same. But you collect them on purpose? No, no, this is the thing. Sometimes, because I don't want to walk all the way to the... When I'm in, about to go to sleep, and I'm like, oh, I'm dozing off. And I've, I don't want to walk, get up and walk there. Steve, I'd how rather... big is your place? How many steps would you say it takes to <laughs> walk steps. to your bathroom? I swear to God, four steps. <laughs> four steps. Probably from here 
to the bathroom out there. So approximately eight steps. Eight steps. So you'd rather pee? I'd just stand up, pee in the Gatorade bottle, cl- close it, and then lay back down. Hmm. Uh, that's so weird. that's how lazy you are. That's pretty lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty lazy. I'm the same way. I'd I rather, don't know what I, it I'm is. I'm the same way. You are? I'd rather do that than walk. Than walk. <laughs> But he doesn't, you probably, you, no, you're very it's, clean. It's deeper than that, though. It's like the sleep um, interruption. Yeah. Like when you're about to go there. Yeah. yeah. It, it disrupts it more when yeah, you take You and step. I have the same thing with sleep. What do you mean? What do you mean? You don't want to be woken up. Oh, no. And if you get woken up, suddenly there's a rage. Mm-hmm. You don't want, you didn't want to wake my dad up, too, growing up in that house. <laughs> Ooh, story. Well, what happened? Um, w- When he beat me with the keyboard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that story. so. <laughs> I heard that story. So me and my uh, f- friend uh, David Oliver, <laughs> David um, Oliver was uh, there. We were in my room, and he had one of the first sampling keyboards, uh, Casio. Yeah. yeah. And it was the one where you press the button, and go hey, it go hey 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 yeah, <laughs> and it go it would go yeah, lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, oh, this is the coolest thing. And I'm like, do the Freddy Krueger, and then we'd mess around with it. I guess it was too loud, and it was during the day. My dad was taking a nap. So he fucking bump. He just bursts through the front door, butt naked, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah!" And then he <laughs> and, and he pulls the keyboard out of the socket, like unplugs yeah, it, yeah. and just starts beating me <laughs> naked on my back. Now imagine this. he was like, "Boom, a, boom!" I'm like, a, ah! "A white, there's a white guy, there's, there's a, a white, white kid, kid laying beside, like laying on, by, his stomach, on his stomach, just." <laughs> And then, and that's not. That's he, not it. He's that's never. Not even the end. He's never seen shit like that. Yeah. So he's beating me. Yeah. Like I'm like no, ah, 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 you know I was yeah. crying, yeah. and then the beating ended, and then I'm like go to the bike, fuck. and then I fuck, and I and then I look. He's walking. He's naked, and he's walking to Ow. the door, and I see something sticking out of his asshole. <laughs> it was a uh, mm. like white. It looked like a. Uh, you know the string of a tampon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was white tissue paper, mm-hmm. like a string sticking out of his ass. Yeah, this is what you call the Korean kite. The Korean kite. The Korean kite. Yeah. And, and what? Wh- and, and, and why and, does he do that? And because I asked over the years, I think it's to kill the moisture. Yeah. Yeah, but but to because moisture. yeah, to to make it his butt more dry. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember so, how violent Dad used to get? Oh, dude! Can I tell another story? Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, the night I was like really proud of my brother. Mm-hmm. This is when, in my definition, when Bob like went into manhood, like, and I went into my room. I go, dude, my brother's turning into a man. <laughs> Wait, he's turning the David Dollar. He's turning into a man. Yeah, yeah. It was at night, dude, and he was like a problem child. You know, he was rebellious growing up. He he's like he got he's way different now, but you know. We both fucking drugs. smoked pot, and yeah. he yeah, was yeah. doing meth. I was, yeah, yeah, sm- yeah. you know, we're all doing drugs, whatever. But I heard commotion in the hallway. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, just craziness. <laughs> is that your dad's yeah, call for Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah just yeah. crazy shit. And I go, what is going on? And I open the door, and I look in the hallway, and it's my brother and my dad doing, like, kung fu fighting, dude. <laughs> like, Thai knee flying knee kicks and so what what i saw was my dad would back my brother up and my brother fought back my brother would do high kicks back <laughs> it was fucking crazy do you remember it was not do you remember that actual dude? fist fight yeah, with drugs. Your dad. it was it drugs. was seriously it was he was doing school. crazy like, like flying knees to my dad and they're going back and forth and oh, i close shit. the door and i go damn my brother's like <laughs> stepping up uh, you know what i mean I think every teenager might go through that. Something no, like that's that. not what we oh. know. No. <laughs> no, because like, growing no. up, I thought this is normal. This is not normal. You guys have a that's lot not, of very, very um, strange stories um, growing up. And I, I, you know what? I, I, I used to think it was weird. And then I start. I was on um, this um, forum the other day. And one of the questions a parent asked was, I just walked in on my sons blowing each other. And the person like basically the doctor basically replied that like kids are like super hypersexual and stuff mm-hmm. and i guess it's not unheard of 
Oh. And even though you should probably set boundaries, for instance, like with your children, like uh. kids are hypersexual. They do shit. They try shit. I think I tongue to tongue my sister and my dad was like, no, 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 you know, mm -hmm. and did shit like that. Yeah, I had a I had a homosexual experience with uh, our neighbor. Uh, remember the Fine Golds? <laughs> Is that a TV family? <laughs> the do you remember, Fine Golds? Okay. Do you remember the Fine Golds? Right, I, okay, I, okay. Stop, but do you remember? I'm about to go there. She she set me up, man. She set it up. No, before you. Was that a volley clap? No, no. Just I'll, don't, I'll don't talk about anything that you don't want to say. No, I'm not ashamed because I know my sexuality. And she said kids experiment when they're young. I did. All right, go ahead then. Okay. The fine gold. The they live across the street from our house. It was a Jew family. That lived across nice the Jewish family. The yeah. fine golds. Um, uh, the middle brother was. He was more closer to my age, and then at the time was like he was like the the fatter younger brother. Okay. And they had an older I sister. I okay. Mm -hmm. And watch what you're saying. Oh, I know. Tip. Time. We're I don't know <laughs> elementary school, very young. That's totally. And I was in his room. Mm -hmm. It was a sleepover. We touch dicks. Just touching them? No, but like dry humping. Oh, that's totally <laughs> normal. Well, totally normal. Yes. In elementary really? school, yeah, that's yeah. totally because I remember. No, no, no. But we're like naked. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, yeah, that fine. is normal. No, but normal. rubbing, like sword fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. is like, normal. Yeah, yeah. Did you get hard? Yeah, we both had like little boners. Just yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, so you chase yeah. it from this. We had like little, like little, little. Yeah, yeah. We were doing that. Yeah, great visuals. So, yeah. yeah. I think that a lot of parents probably don't talk about it with their <laughs> other friends, but the truth is kids are hypersexual. Hey, um. Yeah, <laughs> Qu wait, wait, hey, dude. Just, just, hey, 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 hold up, hold, hold up. up. Hold you up. have yeah. no stories like that? No, no. I have, <laughs> you don't, I have, no, you don't have any no stories. Story. That's because he I wasn't no a kid. Like, I have no stories. And the thing is, is this. Is this that. <laughs> you know, I never heard that story before. <laughs> And I'm visualizing my. I daughter. heard something um through the grapevine. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. I don't want to talk about any of this. Step anymore. it up. I I Step heard something through the grapevine, and not not necessarily from your brother. I don't want. But you've been lying to all of us, all these years, all all fifty episodes of this podcast. You've about been what? lying. About what? You said that you've only sucked dick, and it turns out you've actually butt fucked before, and you've been butt fucked. No, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> I heard from a little birdie that you, in fact, have butt fucked and have been butt fucked. Okay. <laughs> okay. I want to ask you this right now. Who the fuck's this little birdie? I don't because know. Because I'm going to tell you right now. There's only one little birdie. <laughs> that wouldn't know any kind of that, that information. And that little birdie seems to be in this fucking room. Right <laughs> no, I didn't yeah. say nothing, did man. You tell, did you tell Colette no. that I butt fucked and I got, my butt, but I got butt fucked? Hey, man. Did you tell her that? Dude, we should switch topics, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you tell her that? I don't know. I I'm not think, saying, Steve. You don't have to claim. Uh, is this proper like podcast <laughs> topics? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought we were gonna talk about and Game of Thrones and can I just we say talk about it. that apparently uh, you weren't in elementary school. This was in high school. I was in high school, middle school. I don't. Wanna, I'm not gonna say anything. You think names. it was in high school? I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to forget that. <laughs> it was in high school. <laughs> Look at me right now, dude. It wasn't high school. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, right. it was so long ago. It was ago. so long ago. Oh, we're kids. So we're you kids. have gone full gay then? No, I haven't. You penetrated. Uh, that's from his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Let me say something like whatever comes out of his mouth is suspect. Uh, no, mm. not in, I, I believe anything my little let's bird let it, says. I'm going to let it go. Let's bygones. Let's yeah. bygones. Let bygones be bygones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sorry, I sorry, forgive the little birdie yeah, okay. whoever told you that. Yeah, Aww. sorry. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, all right. Aww. Yeah. Because sorry. let me say this little birdie. <laughs> You're the little birdie, Steve. Yeah, yeah, let what? Me say this little birdie. Okay. All right. Let's not. I'm not gonna say right, nothing. I know, I know, I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Birdie. I, I know, know where you're going. Little birdie. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. And, and, all right. You and and I'm a little birdie too. Uh, yeah. And I can. I know. Little birdie can tweet. tweet, tweet oh, I know. All day long. I know. I know. Okay? I know. Let's not like. I'm not throw dirt on each other. I love you. I love you too. Come on. But I can tweet, tweet, tweet all day long. I know. I know. I know. Let's just not go there. Let's go. Hey, UFC coming up. You. Conor McGregor, the Diaz yeah, brothers. Yeah, 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 Come yeah. on, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. Why are you so obsessed? What do you love about? I love, you love. Hey, shout out to the Diaz brothers. I fucking <laughs> love you guys. You're the best fighters ever. Wow. Why do you love them? Why do you love them? Why do you hate Conor McGregor? I don't hate Conor. Let's not get it twisted. No, I. I you have respect. For he him. has a role to play. I mean, the guy's a. Uh, he's a money. He's a businessman. Yeah, yeah, he's a businessman. But the Diaz brothers are real. They're real dudes. I like them. Yeah, you really love them. Do you them. like, I mean, am I the they're only great, one? No, no, Do you I like them? them? I think I everyone them. likes them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, my brother, I'm going to say this right now. 
when Nate beat Connor, oh, I my lost, brother I, was at I, his friend Craig's house. I lost my mind. And apparently, my brother. Because I thought went that he was going to lose. I'm like, yeah. Like <laughs> I he got went into crazy. a space of just sheer aggression when red zone. Yeah, yeah. Not, I don't in, know. In a different but way. more like I was because I was celebrating mm. uh, Nate. Yeah. yeah, Nate, Nate. Yeah, yeah I was just yeah, losing, was losing my mind. Because Connor was winning that first round. He, won, dude. he was winning the. But whole then, fight, like yeah. when you look at interviews, like Nate didn't try that first round. Mm-hmm. He well, he just, had to reserve. That's what he, he said he wasn't going to yeah. give him anything. That's what he says. Yo, All right. Nate on a full camp is a great fucking boxer. I mean, I can't believe it's happening. August twentieth, right? So, what are your predictions, guys? Oh, Connor all the way. Gil, Connor. You think? Oh yeah, dude, Connor. I I really love Nate's boxing. He's Jab Central USA. I think that he's long. I'm gonna say something now. Like if it goes to the ground, is just so on. Point. Connor's made some changes. Wait, on his in his jujitsu. Everything he's restructured. He used to never uh, train like on a on a schedule. This mm-hmm. time around, his coach said. He wakes up at a specific time and finishes at a specific time every single day. Before, Connor would just wake up and do whatever he wanted. Yeah. I'm going to tell you another thing. Really? Mm-hmm. If you saw the Josie Aldo Frankie Edgar fight. I did. You did. I know you did. I was here with I'm you. I'm asking people in the. Uh, in oh, the right, 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 ether, right, right, right. Ether, yeah. Is that I saw Josie Aldo different. Mm-hmm. Yes. He was a little more jaded. Mm-hmm. He looked more like a man. He had a mustache. <laughs> and he looked. <laughs> he no, did. he really did. He, he did. He looked yeah. different. Physi- right? yeah, his physique. And he, he looked, looked buffer, dude. Yeah, he looked buffer. He looked, and he looked way buff. And there was a sense of anger there. Yes. There was a sense of anger. And when I saw Jose Aldo, I knew Frankie Edgar would not be able to beat him. You did? Yeah. Okay. You knew? A loss like he took. When he got knocked out by Connor. You. You, yeah, and this is the difference between someone like Connor and Jose Aldo and somebody like, um, what's her name? R- Ronda. Ronda, Ronda Rousey. Mm-hmm. It, when Ronda, be, when Holly Holm beat Ronda, like, she yeah. should have had a spiritual awakening and said, "Fuck the movies. The only thing in life is to get that belt back." I don't think she did that. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, that loss with with uh, Nate mm. affected him Who, because he gave up his the the, the, the belt for no, him. it wasn't a title fight. But every it being, no, but to fight Nate Diaz again, right? He had to give the belt oh, back. Oh yeah, to, he sort yeah. of. There was. A, that's why Frankie Edgar and Josie Aldo fought for the 145 interim title. For right. Connor's belt because Connor was supposed to defend that belt, but he, went but he decided to fight Nate. To Do you know up. why? Because he needs to be redemption. Redem- redemption. Yes. Yeah. Redemption. And he's not. And what a brave man for saying, you know what? I'm gonna go up. Wait and redo that fight. Same not for thing. nothing. Other same than- stipulations. Everything's the same. Yeah, yeah. I can Crazy. really respect that, and I respect Nate too. You know, it's um. Nate Nate's been around for a very very long time. He's paid his dues tenfold. Both those brothers have, you know. And I think that finally he's getting all the credit that he deserves, or else he wouldn't have ever gotten a big payday or a big fight like this. It's gonna pay him a lot, you know. He's a star now. Nate mm-hmm. Diaz is a fucking star. And because of Connor, so you should thank Connor for that. I had it all twisted, you know. I, for many years, <clears throat> I hated Connor. You know yeah. that. Yeah. I fucking all the, all the, hated him. Why? You hated him like. Oof. Just because of his arrogance and just the disrespect and all that. But you know what? I had a clarity. My mind is clear. And I realize how important he is to the UFC. Yeah. And you can have a villain. The difference between a villain like Floyd Mayweather and a villain like Conor, Conor McGregor is Floyd Mayweather to me represents somebody who dodged for a very, very, very long time. He waited for Manny Pacquiao to be knocked oh, out. Yeah. He waited for Shane Mosley yeah, to get old. Yeah, he waited for yeah. Shane Mosley. He kind of wait, waited for Manny to kind of reach his peak and then go on like then a, a, him, a slower yeah. decline. Then mm-hmm. he accepted the fight. Conor McGregor is not a dodger. <laughs> he He has accepted all the terms of a very, very dangerous fight just to attempt to redeem himself right what about his jujitsu can you improve no. your jujitsu in that short of time i think connor can i think oh, yeah. that because, yeah i think he's very because he smart. mounted him pretty easy his fight iq is very smart he might not want to he's probably not going to try to go for a submission against nate you could never do that but to actually just defend it but what about nate on a full camp nate had who was partying in mexico he was do, taking shots he but did, sometimes that's to your advantage to just go in there with the mentality i have nothing to lose I'm getting a big payday, and I'm just going to fucking go for it. And plus, those guys, they're triathletes. They never go out of shape. Yeah. Connor also said says things and behaves in ways to sell a fight. 
Yeah. Right. Because whenever he wins, he's gracious to his opponent. Opponent mm-hmm. gives mad respect. Mm-hmm. Unlike when when Johanna Young Jacek fought Gu Claudia. That was a great fight. Great, great, fight. Fight. great but fight. Afterwards, Johanna said, "Hey, I want to be friends or whatever," and Claudia was like, "Nah, she got I'm gonna mic. hate you forever." She, she took it personally. Mic. She took it personally. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's unprofessional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If she doesn't know that fucking Johanna's behaving in a way to sell the to fight. sell the fucking fight. Right. So it's a part of the game. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. so um that's what I understood about Connor. And now I like him. I like Nate too. You know, we saw him at the comedy store a couple times, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? He's seems like a nice guy. I'm friends but with his brother. I want yeah. him I want Connor to win. I don't. Still. Yeah, I, lo- I I'm always I will side what with What is it about the Nate brothers you like? I don't know. The two oh nine. They're just they're scrappy just, they're, boys. Yeah, they're know? like they, they, they don't play this is the thing. In UFC, some people fight to. It's like they play the UFC game. Like they win the round. Like they'll hit you and run, or they'll yeah. avoid the fight. But these guys, if there's a fight, they fight. Brawl it. Yeah. They're not yeah. gonna do the point system. Yeah. They're not gonna fight like, oh, I jabbed him, or I got a takedown. That's in their mind. Oh, that's two points or whatever. Right, right. They're, they're just they're safe. fighting. They're gonna fight you to the end. Yeah. That's why I they like. They don't them. play safe. Yeah, I like them. They put themselves in yeah. danger. You know what? Risk, yeah. They've been like hurt that. before. They've lost before, but it never takes away from the fact that we all know they're fantastic. Is because they always put on a show. Yeah, they're not doing the point game. Yeah, they're, they're not. like in there and they're there to fight. Yeah, like I like that a lot. I have a lot of respect for those yeah. guys. For it, sure. Did you see? Um, so over the past week, the worst injury in MMA ever oh. recorded. Oh, the guy had a. The f- the that? knee. Uh, well, my one of the, my bandmates showed me the picture of his skull, like a dent in his skull. So do you know a cyborg, right? Her ex husband, which is also his name, Cy- cyborg too. It's yeah. uh, Evangelista Santos. Yeah, he got a knee. Um, Mike. Um, what's his name? Michael. Venipage. Michael like Venom Page. Page in Bellator. Yeah. Um, through a flying knee and caught him, and it dented. It fractured his, his skull, skull, and it actually dented. dented his I don't want to see it. It dented. Can his I just face. show you, please? Why do you want to show me shit like this all the it's time? It's pretty <laughs> fucking incredulous. <laughs> Look, look at the x-ray. From a knee. A knee. Oh, my. Look at how ugly is it, as it is. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to... Yeah, but that's not going to... If that happened to, like... He has to go fund me, by the way, so... Yeah, because this is a retirement injury. He's done. He's done. I mean, there's swelling in his brain. He has to go through surgery. His fucking skull is fractured. You never see this type of injury in, like... It's crazy. You know, yeah. you've never seen this type of injury mm. ever. That's like accident material. But that's what you sign up for. But yeah. kind of you don't, though, because this rarely happens in I understand sport. that, but what I'm saying, this is a dangerous sport, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why we watch it, the reason why we don't pay the amount of money to watch it. I mean, I watched and, and, it during Pride. I, I remember mm-hmm. when I worked at Amoeba, I would like rent the Pride ones, Sakuraba, yeah. Igor Vochanchin. Mm-hmm. I, nice. I loved it. I loved all. We like, loved it since the beginning. I love Sakuraba. Sakuraba's the best. Like in his prime, he was that was so my fun. favorite. Who yeah, yeah. Fights like that. Kisuji Sakuraba. Because he incorporated like some cool like the Kimura. He was yeah, bringing but that he, back. He did just. He was just wild, you know. Yeah, I he loved was just it. so entertaining to watch. We were I talking about this. Don Fry, Dan Seven. Oh, Don Fry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Loved it all. All yeah. those early years were really fun because it was no holds barred and you just steroids. Had... Yeah. So is oh, speaking of which, is surprise, J- surprise, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> guy. I already knew he yeah. was. I knew he was gonna take him down. How fucked up is that? I knew it. I knew I was waiting for the double the whole time. I'm like he's gonna take him down. No, but no. he tested positive. He positive. He did. I mean, are you surprised? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. But isn't that fucked up? That I mean, I, granted, it's just a one-off fight for him, and he you was know, on it. Yeah, but you. I, it, listen, why don't beast. we? Why, why don't you just legalize that? What do you for, mean? For sport, steroids. Well, they're saying every UFC fighter's on that shit, right? Just legalize it, then everyone's on it. Well, not then, everyone is on steroids. Oh, there are other types of performance enhancement. Just legalize drugs. It. Who cares yeah. now? So not all of them are technically like bad. There are different types of. Um, not everything has to be like an anabolic steroid. There are yeah. other ways, but it's still cheating if it's considered. Mm. You where know, are we at? Where are we at, my friend? Fifty-two. Oh, we're good. We're, we're good. good. Unhelpful advice. This is, no, this is what happens now. <laughs> okay. He says, we have a question from the internet. Mm-hmm. Some people yeah. email us questions. Yeah. And now we answer the question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is live? No. No, no, no. no, is- no. Oh. People write in. Oh, okay. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and the little birdie. <laughs> this is from Bianca. Hey, guys. 
I just broke up with my boyfriend of three years and it's been rough. I'm very ready to move on. He's definitely not. He thinks I don't care about him or love him at all just because I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. I do care about him a lot, of course, but I feel there's nothing I can do to convince him. He wants to keep talking and texting like friends, but I'm unsure if I should continue the communication. I think it's torture to continue reminding him about me. What do you guys think? Should I shoot him a nice text every once in a while or just cut him off completely? Thanks again. Much love. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. I'm trying to see what I would want from... as If someone broke up with me, what would I need in order to recover? In order to recover? Like, would it help me if I got a call Uh-oh. or a text? I say go cold turkey. That's the only way yeah, to really I get agree. your message across. I agree I with I break you. up with every... The last three. Okay. And the only way to do it cool. is you cut them off. Cut them off. Completely. Because they won't be able to heal too. Like you need. Yeah, yeah, and I think that you could probably revisit and become friends down the road. But you got to give it that initial space. You got to give yeah, it. I see Sarah at the comedy store. She's cool. We hug. Hey, how are you? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that you do need the first few months to just be completely without communication, I think. Have you guys had clingers? Like really bad clingers yes. where you like, broke up and they're still like. Oh, you yes. you remember my breakup? Oh, oh tell us about I want to talk about that because that's yeah, something that, that was really like a, a pivotal moment in your life, and I still think oh. you're affected by. It. That's why I'm saying you should actually just cut them, and because like I was still trying to hold on to something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, she, you know, she what? Well, it was just it was very painful, just the breakup. So itself. tell us what happened. What? Okay, happened? Oh, no, no. Let's start, no, let's start with how you met her. Yeah, let's. How did you meet her? Oh, dude, like I was working at the coffee bean at the time. Remember? Yeah, on on um, on uh, Argyle. Argyle. Yeah, right by the pal- uh, Palladium. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And my brother was working at the coffee bean, and this girl came in. Yeah, and it was Amy. Yeah, very pretty, half very Filipina. Pretty. Yeah, nice. And she hit on my brother. Yeah. But see, that's how you know that she was probably a real girl. He did. He's working at Coffee Bean. Mm-hmm. He's not looking for anything else other than, you know, a real guy. Like you know, in Hollywood, it's a little bit tough. Girls are always so concerned with what the guy does for a living. Yeah. You know. Um, you know what? We don't have to talk about this. We can. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather talk about this or your childhood? Pick one, pick, Steve. Pick one. I right. thought this was f- a friendly topic. This is gonna help this All person right. too. All right. So I was yeah. with her for two years. Yeah. And. Oh, I messed up. I I could totally see now. Okay, we went to visit her sister, I think, at the time. Mm-hmm. Close to the mic. We went to visit her sister at the time. And I think she like lived in the Bay Area, mm-hmm. Richmond or something. The sister, you know, she she had a new like a new kid. She had two daughters and then a uh, husband. Mm-hmm. So it was already like a weird kind of arrangement and stuff. And I thought I was like doing the normal thing, like like after dinner. Like I remember washing dishes one of the nights we were there, but I noticed that like one of the nights we were sleeping and they had like a fold out like a sofa bed thing, mm-hmm. and she like didn't want to like sleep with me. Like she slept separate, and I'm like that's the first thing I noticed. I'm like oh she's like creating distance, but maybe in retrospect maybe she was respecting like her sister's space. Mm-hmm. And so that's the first thing I noticed. But then I fucked up like royally. Like the la- the day we were leaving, mm-hmm. uh, her sister just wanted to eat, um, get one last meal before we w- uh, boarded the plane. And I-, I was like being such a like irritable, like, no, I'm hungry. I want to eat now, you know, like so mean Amy ate before meeting up with her. Mm-hmm. And so I wasn't by the time we met up with her, I wasn't even hungry. And so we didn't even. Um, like she was eating by herself her mm. sister was eating it by herself dude so I fucked up because I remember and I realized that's not a reason why someone would well, leave well I'm though. just like you know no, but if she had already been thinking about it that's like the final yeah, the straw final straw yeah yeah, yeah. where it's Cause, like cause, well he's trying to exclude my family yeah so I messed up man like I should have just waited how did she break up with you uh, in the in the plane I think. Oh, on the in, plane on the, the plane air? back to in the air yeah in the plane <laughs> what the, fuck? the plane back well, to LA how say it she goes I think that I don't remember, but she what just an awkward. Plan. Well, I know she said like maybe she wants to be alone. She doesn't want to be in a. Re- she's never been alone, mm-hmm. and um, in a relationship, she wants to be by herself, independent, and all that stuff. But I remember my homie, um, Der- uh, Derek, my old roommate from Arizona, was visiting me. Mm-hmm. This is fresh after the breakup, and we were walking to Starbucks, and then when we went uh, on the in and outside to the IHOP side, walking across. 
I saw Amy with another guy. Oh. And they were like going, I think maybe to IHOP to get breakfast or something. So and you think that That really Amy? messed me up. Yeah. And then Okay, oh so was God. Amy your first and re only real yeah. relationship ever in your life? I think so, yeah. And what song will you listen to all the time? Cindy Lauper. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Time, time after, after, time, after time. time. Aw, Steve. Time yeah. After he, time. my brother, would listen to listen to Steel Uppers time after time, <laughs> time laying in bed after crying. Time. I know. And so, how long did it take you? <laughs> Dude, time after after time. Time. Uh, how long did it take for you to get over her? Dude, Bob, a long Years. time. Dude, I remember. Uh, let me one more story. I was unemployable. I mean, I was crying every day at Amoeba. I was working at Amoeba <laughs> because through every day through yeah. Starbucks, I got a job at Amoeba uh -huh. because the employees would come in and I'd always like be friendly to them cool. and stuff. Yeah. And so I remember I was crying. I was in the they, I was a cashier, but then I was working in the warehouse and I was, crying, you know. And then yeah. my manager was like, "All right, we need to have a talk on the street, Steve, about your uh, work." Yeah. And I remember I was crying, and he was just consoling me and like. And then a black car rolls up, tinted windows, and I'm crying. A dude walks out with the Asian lady. It was Paul McCartney. <gasps> what does that have to do with? I that? don't know. I just thought it was a cool story. <laughs> wait, you were to, wait. You wanted to name drop Paul McCartney? Yeah, it was Paul McCartney. <laughs> you had to name drop Paul McCartney. I, I knew that a fucking motherfucking story. a motherfucking beetle, dude. <laughs> Oh Were you jealous? A beetle. Not the way he did it. Yeah, it I, but I remember, yeah. I remember I was crying and I looked up. And it I was go, Paul McCartney. Did he help you? No. No. Did I you just, know I, him? I, I, no, I just stared at him like seeing a ghost. Like, it's Paul McCartney. And then my mind just starts spinning. I was like, it was Paul McCartney. It was Paul McCartney. And then you got over yeah. him? No, I was still, I don't know. I probably went back to my sorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Paul McCartney. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all right, story? Tiger uh, Valley, let's talk about 50 his, talk about his dates. Yeah. Steve, promote all your stuff right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, Monchi, um, my band, uh, we're going on a tour in October. Uh, on October 30th, we'll be in Fresno at Strummer's. On the 31st, Halloween, we'll be in San Francisco at the Elbow Room. Um, November 2nd, Portland, Oregon at Mississippi oh. Studios. Um, November 4th, Seattle, Washington, Barboza. It just says Barboza. It's a festival. <laughs> okay, right? I don't know. Oh. November 5th, Vancouver, Canada wow. at the Cabolt. We're going to Salt Lake City on the 8th at Kilby Court. Um, on the 10th, Denver, Colorado at Three ca ta Kings Tavern. That's not confirmed. And then on <laughs> November 11th, Santa Fe, somewhere in New Mexico, not confirmed. Oh, Arizona, November 12th, um, last exit live. Um, and then San Diego, California at the office on the 14th of November. And then we're going to have our returning show in L.A. at Los Globos again. Oh, right. nice. Can so we, where can we find all these dates online? Um, well, you could go to uh, Monchi, um, uh, Monchi com. That's the band website. Uh, Instagram, Monchi Hammer. Uh, my Instagram is Kwangu, Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. And then I have my music website, StevieWeebyMusic.com. And we also recorded a K-Core punk album, uh, on mongchibandcamp.com and it's called Rats in a Puzzle Ooh. EP. I'm going to say something new right now. I was thinking about the cable bill that I pay for yours. Yeah. Because I pay that, you have to do this show once a month. I think that's fair, Is that fair? It I mean, nice if they like want this. it, what if the, the people don't want it? They're like, no, no. You're doing Tiger Belly once a month. All right. We have so many. You guys have so many stories to tell. You know, I feel like it's a, a shame month. otherwise. And you can always. I plug think you your can shows. help us reach that goal that we want. What goal? Uh, uh, what to goal get to grow. That? To grow as a. Oh, I didn't you know. know. I, mean? I think well, you're so. You're just so. Do you, do you um agree with Bob? Hell yeah. You do. I think yeah. we all do, Steve. Yeah. Honestly. Once a month. Yeah. But can we still do the Twitch channel? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Th bribe him. You'll only do the Twitch channel. Because, dude, if he does the I'm podcast. telling you, Steve, it's we right have here. it's right here. Here's the Twitch thing. We have some funny dialogue, dude. My last day at work is tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, what needs to happen to get our um our Twitch channel going? Text me Wednesday. 
Okay, because Craig's been like on it, like reminding me and stuff too. Text me anytime Wednesday. Okay. So hungry, Thursday, I, got, I haven't eaten all day. I gotta eat something. Uh, Bobby, shows for Bobby. Bobby will be <laughs> at the Sacramento Punchline this go. Friday, That's Saturday, it. and Sunday. He is, uh, and then first week of August, he is going to be in Arlington Draft House in Virginia. You know, I love that room. Okay. With Jade Catapretta. With Jade Catapretta. Oh, I love Jade. Shout Jade out to Jade Catapretta. Love Jade, Jade Catapretta. And then after that, he will be at um, <laughs> so many Helium. Shout outs. Helium in, um, in Philly, I think, the week after that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Steve. You were wonderful. Very fun. Dude, very I had a good wonderful. time. It wasn't his best thought. But you maybe see? we should cut out the fine golds. No. Maybe no. we should cut that part. Because yeah. what if... Hey, no, all I'm yeah, saying like is what if the fine gold... Because they're adults now. Yeah. Yeah. They could be judges or lawyers. There's a million Jewish people, though. Yeah, there's oh. so many fine so golds. So many fine Damn golds. It. We should right. also just stop saying fine gold. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> George is. I'm going to miss one of them and I'm going to feel so bad. The title of this, pro- beep out, this beep episode out, is going to be Beep out the fine golds. Jesus. No, you can beep out the fine golds. I guess, yeah. What, you, well, what we, is your attitude But, but we did say it was a nice Jewish family. Yeah, you said You know nice what? Things. Don't bleep out the fine golds. Bleep out their first name because there's a mm. ton of fine golds. Yeah. That's yeah. a solution, yeah. guys. Yeah. I'll see that. Cool. And All then right. I, I we plugged everything. Everything's yes, good. Everything's great, everything's good. Great, You're good, Steve. Uh, how do you feel? I mean, was that okay? Yeah. Oh, we're still, we're right. still on, actually. Oh, we're we still are. On. Yeah. Okay, still cool. On. So yeah, we're gonna um, yeah. check yeah. out. Make sure you guys check out Steve's stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just check out the the stuff that I said and um. I think that's all I have. I think I plugged that's Monty. Cool. You're good, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're cool. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. Well, I want to. I just wanted to bring justice. Like, I want to make sure to like, cause I, I was telling my bandmates, like, yeah, I'm gonna get on and I'll talk about our dates. They can come on too. I'll ask, can Mark come on? Mark, or Heather. Oh, I didn't I know that. Actually. Really? Yeah. Have you ever met Heather Leather? Uh, well, you wouldn't mind if I brought some of that? I love her. She's the My band oh, Let me get the outro really quick. Thanks, guys, yeah. for listening to episode 50. Oh, also, I wanted to um, uh, do a shout out to Marianne and Grayson from Savannah, Georgia, because they wrote in an email saying that not everyone in the Bible Belt is closed minded and they're, in fact, fans of Bobby. And if you ever made made it to Savannah, Georgia, they would you you would sell at least two tickets, Bobby. Nice. And shout yeah. out to Savannah, Georgia. Georgia. Goes to school shout there. out to Georgia. The Bible Bell. Shout out to the Bible Bell. Mm-hmm. Make sure you follow Tiger Belly on Instagram at Tiger Belly. Follow us on Twitter at the Tiger Belly. Uh, mm-hmm. Make sure if you uh, just like Bianca, if you want to email us any questions, you can do that at the Tiger Belly at gmail dot com. And mm-hmm. if you haven't listened yet to our mixtape volume one, you can do that at Bandcamp. Just search the Tiger Belly. Mm-hmm. And follow Kalila on all social media at Calamity K. You can follow George mm-hmm. on Twitter at Voted Best Tweets or George underscore, underscore Kimmel at any other social media, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a story at our smell Voted show. Best. Yeah. Um, the one of the dudes in the front had a Tiger Belly sticker, <gasps> nice. and you I did. put it, yeah. And then on one of the songs, I put it on my shirt. Oh, nice. nice. I put it on it's my body. Out, yeah. So there's Tiger like Manchi fans are Tiger Belly. Yeah. Fans, even crossover. At, crossover. yeah, their crossover. Even at the festival, there were some Tiger Belly cats there. You shouldn't awesome. have any issues with your cable bill anymore because I made I made it auto pay. Oh, okay. Thanks I didn't want to. Yeah, I know. I I, I didn't know. <laughs> Thanks oh, for I didn't know that because say bye. I, say bye. I got the notice. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Later. Okay, say bye. Say everyone, say bye. All right, bye. peace bye. out, Tiger Belly fifty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kau dapat kata